So day seven, and we're waiting on the Galveston Ferry to take it across the bay to Bolivar Point or Bolivar Island. And we're gonna go activate a lighthouse. Lighthouses on the air is the topic of today's video. Yesterday was APRS, had a really good time talking with Jason yesterday about APRS, the things you can do with APRS. I am beaconing APRS from the truck right now, KC5HWB-9. I do have my HT on my belt right now and APRS droid running on my phone. As I mentioned yesterday, I have that going for pretty much every day since the Huntsville Hamfest, and that's still going right now. But today we're going to activate a lighthouse. And if you look at the website that I will share in the, I can't remember, it's like uh, LHARS or something like that. I don't remember what the, the URL is right now, but I'll share the link in the description below about the lighthouse activation website and where you can find different lighthouses and find what designations they are and find what numbers they are. So today we're going to the Bolivar Point Lighthouse and we're gonna set up an HF antenna and try to make some contacts that way. Never done a lighthouse activation before, not, not officially anyway. So I'm looking forward to this and seeing how it's gonna work. All right, just so I follow my own advice. Here we go right here, 6.52 from the Yezu FTM 500. KC5 HWB monitoring 6.52 from the Galveston Ferry on the Galveston side. About to get on the ferry and head to Bolivar, KC5 HWB. I actually threw my call sign out earlier driving down here. Didn't get any response. But we'll see what we see. I'm gonna do that again from the boat as well. I have a gas can on the back of my truck on my on my uh, on my bed rack with fuel in it. And they're like, well, you can't bring a gas can on the ferry. And I'm like, it's a drive-on ferry. Drive on, shut your engine off. I'm like, you realize that like every vehicle has gas in it also, right? probably some wind in the microphone right now but if you can see that out there a long ways away that's the lighthouse we're going to that's where we're headed now the ferry won't go all the way got to get back in the truck and drive up there but uh, this sure is a nice ferry ride in between here and there this is Bolivar Point Lighthouse on the Amateur Radio Lighthouse Society page now if you google lighthouses on the air you're gonna come up with three or four different websites and there's different groups and different um, entities doing it, I suppose. I'm not sure if they all share lighthouse numbers or not, but the one we're talking about today is Amateur Radio Lighthouse Society, A-R-L-H-S dot org. That's the website we're looking at today. And this is Bolivar Point Lighthouse. It is designated as USA 069. This is the lighthouse number. And this is private property that I'm not where I'm standing right now, but over here where this wacky looking bird is walking behind the uh, the gate there, this is posted private property. Somewhere on the website I read, I was reading up on lighthouses the other day, and I read that if you are in sight of the lighthouse, you can activate it. Because a lot of lighthouses are on private property, or they're restricted to the public, or you just can't get to them. Maybe they're on an island somewhere. And you're like, okay, I see it on the island there, it's right there, so I'm gonna put it in the background, and uh, we're gonna activate it. So I'm gonna set up and uh, see if we can make some contacts, not sure the easiest way would be to set up and use the truck radio. Maybe I'll do that. I was sh sure wanting to set up some sort of external antenna here because I don't like this. Uh, I guess I could plug one of my radios into my Tar Heel antenna. That would work. So I don't like using this TS480HX radio. It's just not, uh, the ears on it are not very good. So I try to avoid using it when I can. But let's see what we can do and get on the air for USA 069 Amateur Radio Lighthouse Society. Let's go. All right, we've got a guy calling CQ Poda. Good place to start. I'm just set up in the truck right here using the Tar Heel antenna, HP 200. I really love that antenna. And I unplugged it from my truck radio and plugged it into my FTX-1. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Okay, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. I was just about to take a commode break, but I'll take your call. <laughs> Come on back with your call, please. All right, uh, copy that. Uh, Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Thank you. 
Okay, I copy 2256. I am activating a lighthouse right now. Uh, American uh, Amateur Radio Lighthouse Society, uh, lighthouse number USA-069. You're about a 5-5 five, five to 5-7 five, when the band is up here in Texas, QSL. Wow, thank you very much for the lighthouse. Excellent. You know, the numbering, sometimes they get confused because it's a... Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you said USA. It's, uh, it's almost like a park number, but I get you now. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Sorry about that. Had a technical issue there, but yeah, copy that. Uh, yeah, USA 069 agreed about the uh, numbering system, but that's what it is uh, on the uh, Amateur Radio Lighthouse Society webpage, so that's what we're going with. Good luck in your activation today. Thanks for the contact. Okay, and thank you for doing that too. 73. I'm your frequency, by the way. Did you want to use this frequency? No, I was just hunting, and uh, I was just hunting up and down the band. I heard you calling CQ Poda. I thought I'd try you. 73, good luck. This is Whiskey 9, Delta Whiskey Tango. I'm, uh... There we go. That's one way to do it. Just hunt up and down the band and find some POTA stations calling CQ POTA. So, I would like to try to call CQ Lighthouses on the air and see what happens, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. QSL, copy the 5-9. You're about a 5-5 five, five to 5-7 five, when the band is up and down. Can I confirm your call sign is Whiskey 2 Delta Juliet Oscar? Negative. Whiskey 3 Delta Juliet. Okay. Whiskey 3 Delta Juliet Alpha. Whiskey 3 Delta Juliet Alpha. Okay, Whiskey 3 Delta Juliet Alpha. I got you that time, Dorothy. Came up to a 5-9. Uh, you were uh, you were five nine that time, and I'm activating a lighthouse. It's USA 69 Bolivar Point Lighthouse in Texas, QSL. Well, that's really cool, 069. I don't think we've ever talked to a lighthouse before. <laughs> that's super fun. I'm the second operator. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to go with the second op. Kilo Charlie Five, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. This is Whiskey Three, Delta Juliet Alpha. Whiskey Three, Delta Juliet Alpha. Uh, you can come up to a 5-9 station here in the Northeast of Pennsylvania and I've got the White House number. And as Dorothy says, that is really cool. QSL? Okay, QSL, Whiskey 3, Golf, Alpha, Alpha, Graham, got you in the logbook. Uh, yeah, you still a 5-9 out this way as well. Uh, good to work you get, uh, both of you on the park today. And uh, thank you for being a contact from the Lighthouse. Uh, good luck to you, 73. Thank you very much. Enjoy your activation, <laughs> 73. Awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, people are going to go nuts over lighthouses because, I mean, just like, it's just not done that much. So, or not that I've, not that I've seen. Hi, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Are you still around? Yeah, QSL, go ahead. We are wondering if there is an Eloda lighthouse on the internet. Uh, yes, there is. There's actually a few different programs. The one I'm working today is, uh... Amateur Radio Lighthouse Society. It's A-R-L-H-S dot org. You can go onto that website and find uh, lighthouses all over the world and drill down by, by country and state and find where exactly where I'm at. We are not aware of that, so that is super fun. Yeah, thanks for the contact. Good luck on your parks on the air, 73. <laughs> That's awesome. Hunting POTA is, makes contacts like this easy, so I don't have to call CQ parks on, or CQ lighthouses on the air although I want to I want to using world radio league again today of course kilo charlie 5 hotel whiskey bravo whiskey 1 alpha whiskey from kilo charlie 5 hotel whiskey bravo 1 he can't hear me steve i tried man i tried it would have been cool to get w1aw on a lighthouse activation i tried november 3 sierra mike delta qsl All right, buddy. Thank you uh, for watching the content, and then good to work you on the air. You're about a 5'2", 52 into Texas. Roger, roger. Are you at a uh, Negative. I'm at a lighthouse. I'm at a lighthouse, doing a lighthouse activation. First time. Roger, roger. Okay, well, 73, and good luck. 73, thanks for the contact, QRZ. Alpha Charlie, Delta. Alpha Charlie something? Alpha Charlie Station? Roger, roger, roger. Five, two, you're Alpha, Pennsylvania. 
Uh, give me your call sign again, Alpha Charlie something. Alpha Charlie 3 Lima X-Ray. Okay, I got you that time. Alpha Charlie 3 Lima X-Ray, 5757 into Texas. Roger, well, the 53 here, Western Papa Alpha, Pennsylvania. Thank you for Pennsylvania, 73 QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo, activating a lighthouse. Kilo 4. Kilo India 4 Delta X-Ray Fox Truck. The Kilo 4 station? Kilo India 4 Delta X-Ray Fox Truck. Okay, there's two of you. The Kilo India 4 standby. The Kilo 4 station. Kilo 4 station only. Kilo 4. Yankee Uniform Tango? USL. Okay, buddy, you're a 5252 at the lighthouse today. 55 here in Alabama. Thank you for Alabama, 73. The Kilo India 4? Kilo India 4, Delta X ray Fox Trot. Kilo India 4, Delta X ray Fox Trot, 59. Great signal, Mitch. Yeah, Roger that. You're 57 in East Tennessee. Okay, I copy 57 East Tennessee. Good to work you today, 73. 73 to you. Enjoy. QRZ for Lighthouses on the Air from Bolivar Point Lighthouse, USA 069 from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo, CQ. November Whiskey, to the United. November Whiskey something? November Whiskey 3 United. November Whiskey 3 United, 5 5. QSL, you're 5 7 here in North Carolina. Good copy on the Okay, David. Uh, yeah, good to work again, man. Uh, five, copy 57 North Carolina. Thanks for the contact. QRZ, Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo from Bolivar Point Lighthouse, uh, USA 069. Kilo Alpha 9, Quebec, Zulu Golf, about a 4444. Two three. <laughs> okay, copy the two three. Thank you for Indiana seventy three. Hey Cooley, that's you. Thanks for working you, but uh, thanks for working me, buddy. Thanks for trying seventy three. <laughs> that guy's in the chat all the time. Uh, QRZ Kilo Charlie Five Hotel Whiskey Bravo Lighthouse CQ 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 Lighthouse CQ Lighthouse Kilo Charlie Five Hotel Whiskey Bravo activating Bolivar Point Lighthouse in Texas USA dash zero six nine calling CQ. November 7, Romeo Sierra Sierra. Kilo Quebec. November 7, Romeo Sierra Sierra. Great copy, 5-9. Then you're 5-9 into Washington State, Whiskey Alpha. Copy Washington State. Thank you for the 5 9, 73. I posted in my Discord server. I was having a hard time. I had like four contacts, which if you read the ARLHS page, it says there's an activator award. And if you go into that page for activator award, it says to sign up for the activator. It's, it's like they have an activator of the year and an activator award. And I think if you activate a lighthouse for the first time, which this one's not, this one's been activated several times. But an activator award requires you to send in a log and, or fill out a form and include two contacts you made while at the lighthouse. So I'm like, well, I've made, I, I'd already made more than two at that point in time. So I'm not exactly sure how many contacts it takes to qualify the lighthouse or to activate the lighthouse. And there is a spotter page. You can go into the lighthouse page on the website and say, I'm gonna be here on this date, this time, here's my call sign. And you can submit that. And I tried that and I got an error. There was an error on the website. So it doesn't look like the website is updated very regularly. This is one of those on the air programs that's really, really fun and cool, but it's not nearly as active as some others. So I'm glad I was able to do this today. I've driven by this lighthouse probably a dozen times and I've always thought, hey man, I need to stop and activate this at some time because lighthouses on the air and Amateur Radio Lighthouse Society, that's a thing. That's a thing I've heard of. When I created this 30 Days of Ham Radio or and came up with this idea, this was one of the first things that I decided I want to do was activate a lighthouse for the first time for me. So that's day seven, lighthouses on the air, but we've got some donations to read. You guys have really stepped up. I appreciate donations you've made. So uh, let's uh, let's read some donations real quick. Wanted to read the donations we had real quick. So we're at $1,040 with 21 donors as of now. There were no new comments in the section last night, but I did get a note in the, um, in the email I got from ARRL that said, that basically pays for one day. So it costs about $4,000 per teacher to bring them up to Connecticut, put them through the program, room and board, and everything like that. So $1,000 will pay for one day. It's a four-day 
uh, thing. I think they fly them up on a Monday and fly them home on like Friday morning or something like that. I don't know. I think maybe the dates changed, but anyway, so we're up to a thousand dollars. So congrats to everybody for that. It's a good number. Our goal is thirty thousand dollars. So uh, check out awrl.org forward slash thirty days to support the Teachers Institute. We'll see you guys tomorrow.